Hi guys, my name's Hugh James, I'm a science communicator and wanted to look at that question that's on everyone's lips all the time, every single day, what is an exothermic reaction? Well, we're going to tell you uh, right here, right now with a little bit of an experiment. Things you'll need for this experiment are a one litre pot bottle, some washing detergent, some active yeast, some hydrogen peroxide, available from all good chemists, a little bit of food colouring and a funnel a bowl to catch all the mess in, and perhaps some rubber gloves so you don't get too messy yourself. So this is basically a classic uh, chemical reaction where we've got either an endothermic or an exothermic reaction. And an endothermic reaction is one where you have a, a chemical reaction taking place, and it takes in heat from the surrounding environment to make it happen. Then exothermic, as you'd imagine, the other way around, where it gives off heat. And this is one of those exothermic reactions that gives off heat. So you'll take your hydrogen peroxide and you'll pour some into your pot bottle. If you want to don your uh, rubber gloves to start off with, of course, who wouldn't? They look great, just in my colour. So pour a little bit of the hydrogen peroxide into the, the litre bottle. Uh, make sure it goes in and not everywhere else. And hydrogen peroxide is basically H2O2. So it's uh, water with an added oxygen onto it as well. And what it'll do in this reaction is give off that extra oxygen and we can capture that using some washing detergent. So with this washing detergent inside here, it'll capture the oxygen and then turn it into bubbles that we should see rise up and out of there. We'll put a little bit of uh, food coloring in to make it look a bit more like some toothpaste. It's, it's always been called elephant toothpaste because an elephant, if they wanted to brush their teeth, would have something that looks a bit like this. Nice big foamy toothpaste that rises up out of the bottle. Okay, so we've got inside a little bit of uh, washing up liquid, hydrogen peroxide, and we need something to activate it all to produce that exothermic reaction and to create our elephant's toothpastes. So we need to encourage that with our yeast. And as this goes in, uh, it'll make the chemical reaction go that a little bit more. All right, so there it goes in. We'll give it a bit of a shake to encourage it and then you should see it rise up and out of the top. A nice green, uh, a green chemical, just like an iPhone's toothpaste would be. But as it starts to rise up the top, you should see steam start to come off it as well. Exothermic reaction, it means that it's giving off uh, heat as well as all, in all these bubbles is oxygen. So we're capturing the oxygen and using it for a specific purpose. And in the Bloodhound supersonic car, the new land speed record uh, project for Britain, they pump in uh, a load of this hydrogen peroxide through the rocket to create oxygen for the rocket to burn in. So it's actually quite useful stuff, these exothermic reactions. And this particular property of, uh, of these chemicals can actually be uh, quite important. If you want to react to our live experiments or our fun facts and science as well, then you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the buttons below.